Hey my witches, I'm here today with, um, I'm going to start calling it Starlit Sunday because I also have on my blog the astrological weather for the week. Uh, this week coming up we have, of course have Mercury is going direct from retrograde so communication will be a lot easier. Um, a lot of those little annoying snafus are going to stop. It's going to be smooth sailing as far as communication goes. However, we do have towards the end of the week a grand cross coming up which is when four planets are square to each other forming uh, kind of a square and then there's two that are opposite each other forming a cross. So it creates a lot of tension. Um, and there's particularly going to be tension between us wanting to break out and do fun things and daydream or go out there and be social and all the responsibilities we have. And we may have some extra responsibilities this week. So it can be caused a lot of tension. However, there is some good from this because it causes us to step back and reevaluate what we think or how we feel about things and to reevaluate some of the structures in our lives. So it's an opportunity to kind of reevaluate what's going on in our life in a new way. Um, it is warning us not to be over extravagant with, um, with money, to overspend because we might feel a bit rebellious because we've worked so hard this coming week. We might feel a little rebellious and want to overspend or party too much or overeat or whatever it is. So it's just warning us moderation is key. So just keep that in mind for this week. But if you want to know all the details, go to the blog and it has all of what's kind of going on for uh, the astro weather coming up in particular this weekend with the uh, quarter moon coming up on the 29th. So um, this week for the sun signs and your moon and, um, ascendant, if you know that. I'm using the um, is it the Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle. Uh, so let's take a look at what that has for us. And as always, we will start with Aries. Okay, Aries. We have Green Man's Door, Portals to Fairy, Wheel of the Year, Galactic and Gaian Entry Points. So I really feel like for this, for this card, for Aries, it's really about getting back in touch with nature, back in touch with the rhythms of the cosmos, back in touch with our connection to nature and to life, which maybe has been missing in all the busyness lately. Um, so that means really getting out there and enjoying things. So if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it's warming up, so get out there and enjoy. Um, but if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, it's fall, but that's still a time, a time to get out and enjoy things. But I really feel like there's a sense of um, starting things anew and that the cycle for you has shifted now that we're kind of past a lot of the retrogrades. For Taurus, we have Solace, Return to Nature, Tree Wisdom, Natural Remedies, and Flower Essences. So those are things that you might want to look into this week, Taurus, is looking into a sort of more holistic or alternative health and healing, looking into herbal remedies. This last card also has a very strong forest energy into it as well, meaning getting outside and being around trees. It's also a time for needing some solitude and to step back, particularly with the energies this week. For Gemini, we have beauty's truth, beauty, physical pleasure, and sensuality. So Gemini, this is not surprising because the Venus is in Gemini right now. So this is a time where you're really connecting to that sensual side of you and to the romantic side of you and to pleasure and beauty. The only warning I would have for you is not to overdo things too much or spend too much or party too much this, this particular week. But it does show that this is time to really beautify things and to maybe, you know, if you're thinking of, you know, changing your wardrobe or getting your hairdo or redecorating your house, it's a good time to do it. For Cancer, we have the Littlest Fairy. Appreciate the beauty and value of the exquisite and fall and small, pardon me. So Cancer, it's a time to just appreciate the little things in your life, to reevaluate and look at all the good little things around you. That, um, that you can really appreciate and enjoy and not get too caught up in all the big details because it is going to be a really busy week and it might be, you know, somewhat of an emotional one. For Leo, we have Cry for Nature, Mourning for Something Sacred with Seen Loss. So for Leos, this may be um, a difficult week, a week where you feel like things are lost or you feel like you're alone. Um, and there's also this week a warning against sort of self-pity or feeling bad for yourself. We all need to cry over loss and things, but saying not to wall in it too much. And nature is very healing for that. 
For Virgo, we have Into the Woods, Stranger in a Strain Land, New Experiences, Feeling Uncertain, and Transition Zones. So this, Virgo's, you know, one of the signs that's really going to be affected by the Grand Cross this week. So you're going to be trying new things. Uh, you may be in a period of transition in your life where you're uncertain what's going to happen next and what you're stepping into. And it says to trust, to trust that this new period that you're going into is going to be a beneficial one and that you're going to learn new things. For Libra, we have fairy lovers, new love, courtship, romance, falling in love. So Libras is going to be a week of romance for you. So whether you're looking for a new romance, that'll be great. But also if you're in a romance, there's a rekindling of love and feeling. So very much a romantic and uh, an easier week for Libras. Scorpio, we have shimmer, glamour, confidence, allure, and charisma. Now, this is good. It means, that it, again, this is a good week for, you know, beautifying your house or yourself. Um, also for going into situations with confidence and really letting yourself shine and see yourself as the unique person that you are. There's also, though, a bit of a warning this week with, um, with Moon and Neptune together that you can also be glamoured or by other people and to really step back and reassess things and make sure that you're not, you know, stepping into something that may be more than what you bargained for. Sagittarius, we have Gossamer Princess, communication, relationship work to be done. Um, again, this is not surprising with the astrology that's going on right now. Um, it's saying that you need to be really clear in your communication with your relationships with others. That, you know, if there's an area where you're feeling like you, uh, you know, particularly restricted or that you have too many responsibilities or you're feeling overwhelmed by things, you need to communicate that rather than just kind of sucking it up. So it says that you need to clearly communicate with people about any issues that you have this week. For Capricorn, we have Green Men's Bride, Sacred Union, Commitment Ceremony, Maturing into a Deep Relationship. So this is really about having those deep conversations with people this week, Capricorn, especially with those that you may be in a romantic relationship with or very close with. And there may be um, a commitment coming up, um, whether that's an actual marriage ceremony or just, you know, a, a deepening of a relationship. But that is definitely in the cards for Capricorn this week. For Aquarius, we have the secret past, an irresistible pull down a distinct path, ley lines, and mystical traditions. So a good way for um, really fault, like looking at those things, like any sort of sacred or mystical tradition, looking at the ley lines in the area, walking around those sacred sites that may be in your area, getting back in touch with nature, definitely good thing for Aquarius to do. But it also says that... Um, that, you know, we sometimes are drawn to things irresistibly and we don't know why. And sometimes that could be good or intuition is telling something. Sometimes it's more like an obsession and we have to know when to draw the line. Pisces, we have follow me. Come, this is your invitation to enter the world of fairy. Now, definitely Pisces, the, um, the last quarter moon is going to be in Pisces. Neptune's in Pisces right now, and that's also part of the Grand Cross. So definitely a time, a fairy, a lot of spirituality. Also imagination as well, a time to get creative with things and saying that the fairy world is definitely calling you. So if you're thinking of making a little fairy garden or something, it's a really good time to do that. So that's why I see for the week, for our overall card, we got the Grail Fairy, which is fertility, return to life, health, and life cycles. So we are kind of moving into a new cycle this week with Mercury going out of retrograde. We also have the Grand Cross coming up, which will cause us, like I said, to step back and maybe reassess things in a new way, or at least some parts of our life in a new way. So it's saying just welcome this as a new cycle and then, um, you know, a new lease on things. So that's why I see for this week. If anyone notices anything else, please put in the comments below. Like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.